walking the first day into City Hall through the security uh, line in City Hall. As a council member, we were walking in and my male colleagues were before me. And the officers didn't stop the male council members, just continued to welcome them in. And they saw me, young, Latina. I was, I was barely 28 years old, I was 27. Um, newly elected, filling in a, a vacancy. And they asked me, oh, who are you staffed to? I said, no, I'm not staff, I am the council member. And those words will always resonate. You best believe those officers never made that mistake again. <laughs> and so it is important that women are not just considered staff. It is important that women claim their seat and not wait for that invitation. It is important that you are unapologetic about being a strong woman and that you are able to use that charm and that ability to care because we are natural caretakers. It is instinctive. It is why we think differently. It is why we strategize differently. It is why we have an opportunity. And if it's knocking on our door, then walk through it. Mm -hmm. And if it's not there, create the door to have it be presented to you. Again, do not wait for the invitation. Welcome yourself to the table. It is the one message that Shirley Chisholm has always been proud of. She did not wait to run for president of the United States of America. She believed in a union, and it required for her as a woman to send that message loud and clear and unapologetic. So on behalf of Eric L. Adams, congratulations on the Shirley Chisholm Day, celebrating a great woman of Brooklyn.